Hello, and welcome to Dr. Peck Plays Theme Hospital. The open version kind. I'm not actually a, a doctor, uh, certainly not a medical doctor, uh, but I'm not a doctor of anything else. I'm uh, with a Bachelor of Bachelor of Arts in History and Political Science, but look at my European Universal S3 uh, playthrough, that's what I was looking for. You uh, wouldn't have guessed it. Hmm. So, I thought for a change of pace, and also to assuage my conscience from uh, killing so many virtual beings in strategy games, I'm going to actually help virtual beings and just help them get sick, and that'll balance out the karma somewhat. So what I'm playing is, essentially, uh, Bullfrog Studios 1997 game, Theme Hospital. But, because on the... Um, of more modern computers, Theme Hospital being as it was released in 1997 in an attempt to make hospitals fun and exciting to play. Maxis tried it with Sim Health, didn't work quite so much, that was terrible. Never played it, I've just heard terrible reviews about it. 1997, Bullfuck Studios, Peter Molyneux, excellent game designer. I think he's got a nice one, he's also got some kind of French award, Chevalier de l'Art or something like that. You can look it up on Wikipedia, that's where I got the information from. Um, yeah, trouble is, it's not, 1997 doesn't work very well on modern computers. So what you can do is you can, if you have the CD, because you need, you need the CDs for this, you can download uh, Core 6 TH, which is an open version of Theme Hospital. It needs the original files to play, so you need to uh, acquire them somehow. Best and most legal way is to have the CD with you and just, I don't know, install it normally and then install this on top of it. The way the um, link is below in the descriptions. And I'm going to go ahead and go straight, lot straight on with this. I thought I'd bring two um, Let's Plays concurrently because my uh, European Universal 3 one is going to get less and less popular with myself, let alone anyone else. So here we go, I'm going to start a new campaign. Uh, I'm going to go for... Hmm, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a junior, I'm a book consultant, it might be embarrassing. Let's stick with... Um, one of the things you'll notice about this is it does away with all kinds of uh, videos and all the sort of the fun stuff associated with the original Theme Hospital, but it does keep the music. And lots of the. Um, I could assume that you're sort of vaguely familiar with the concept of the game itself. You have to start with a reception desk, and he tells you you have to build, hire a receptionist to do, and you generally need to build diagnosis rooms and you have to diagnose what's wrong with the patients and treat them and then they give you money and then you run a successful hospital. Worth lots of humour thrown in. It's quite a fun game to play, you wouldn't have guessed it. As I say, judging by the, the, the topic, running a hospital generally isn't supposed to be a fun thing. You're not a doctor, you're a hospital administrator. Um, primary concern is to... Uh, what have I hired a handyman for? Oh, because it told me to, that was it. Forget this guy, he's a psychiatrist, he can also work in psychiatry, it's the first level, so all you have to worry about is a handful of rooms, no research, no training, and only about five illnesses. It's the top of my head, I could list them. Bloated head, which requires inflation, um, TV personalities, I think, uh, requires a psychiatric room. What's just there for diagnosis, later you need to use it for operations, pre-op and all that. <coughs> a few things you need the pharmacy as well. Invisibility is one, and in the original game it's really irritating because you didn't have the diagnosis rooms available to fully diagnose it, so you'd end up with having to like take a chance on a possible cure. I've not built a room big enough, I don't think, and not hired some of the skills enough, so I'm probably also going to get a message where I'm going to have to guess uh, a diagnosis to send it to an like, 80% chance of living and dying. If you get the treatment wrong, the patient dies, and that goes against your record. That's about it. There's no moral consequences to it. Yeah. All in all, I'm going to I'm going to, have to save more people than I kill. So, in terms of the whole um, gaming karma thing, I'm doing the right thing here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Really, I am. Uh, ah, that's that'll do. I can, I can diagnose them to a moderate degree. Um, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, nifty. 
So basically, what the ba most basic the most basic diagnosis room available in the entire game, you have to start at the GP's office, otherwise there's no hospital. And the cheapest diagnosis room in the entire game. That's that's it. Also put a psychi psychiatric room. It also it diagnoses and also cures psychiatric treatment. Psychiatric help in this game is solved in about 30 seconds of just lying on a couch and talking to the doctor and then you're done, you're cured from all mental illness. That's <laughs> it. It's things like, um, there's a fun one that comes in in level 3 I think, King's Complex, you get a load of patients who look like Elvis. Uh, I say, if you're if you're watching this let's play, you've probably played Team Hospital before. I, if anything, I'm just telling you that you can you can play it in the modern day because they've updated it. Some people with too much time on hands and a good heart. My God, this is a terrible hospital design. Sorry, terrible hospital design. I need to get my improved addiction. Improved addiction. Can I move that out a bit? Yeah, stop that. No, don't delete this room. Yes, I can. I'm essentially just, just playing around for a bit. Just just to acclimatise you and myself to uh, the playing of, of the game that I've rather arbitrarily picked. I'm hoping, because of the uh, reduced size of the missions, uh, this should move a bit quicker as a let's play. I'm thinking one video per level, which means that I spent half this video talking about the introduction already and babbling on about Peter Molyneux and how he's got numerous awards from numerous government authorities. Uh, I've not got much time left. Probably have to build a pharmacy. This is quite, quite um, a distracting position I find myself in. In order to uh, somewhat improve upon my voice, rather than putting put the expenditure into a microphone, I've just used the camcorder I bought not long ago, which I've also used to record myself uh, full on, but that's another YouTube channel entirely. But so that it doesn't interfere, the game music doesn't interfere with the actual recording. And lo and behold, who have we got here? That's he's got an invincibility, and he's standing on top of the handyman. All oh, right, yeah, benches. No, it's done something. So yeah, in order to stop the music from the game interfering. For, uh, with the uh, actual recording from my camcorder, I have to listen to it in my headphones, but the good headphones they kind of, kind of block out all of the sound. So I can only hear what I'm saying in half my one of my ears. The other one's just filled with game noises and receptionists telling nurses to go to the pharmacy. Hmm. Thank you. I was too busy talking about my ears that I, I kind of missed what was going on. Definitely just popped in the bottom left of your screen and alerts the importance of a piece of information or decision you have to make. Team discovered a new condition. TV personalities. See? Said so. Cause daytime television. Symptoms? Delusions of being able to present a cookery show. Ooh, I'll get that sometime. Apart from I think I can make an entertaining YouTube channel. <laughs> so, um, cure? A train si- Oh, I'm reading that. A cra train, train psychiatrist has to convince person to throw away their TV and buy a radio instead. I'm going to invest in some benches now because this is, just, this is just ridiculous. What I often think is I should probably not try to talk about the game while I'm playing the game at the same time because you're kind of stretching yourself a bit, a bit thin in the conversation area. One of the reasons I'm not able to make long-term decisions in Europe Universal is 3 is that the game itself requires your full thought. Oh, hold on a second. Let's go with the squits. Of course, eating pizza found under the cooker. Symptoms? Ugh. Surely you can guess. At least medical notes. Uh, cure. A gluttonous mix of stringy pharmaceutical chemicals solidified by the patient's in it. Patients. Don't know what happened to my voice there. I do apologise. I know it was a take. Oh, yeah. Um, it's quite distracting having to think about things to say. Oh, right, yeah. Stack room. Well, I've just killed my first... I didn't kill him, the nurse killed him. I've just killed my first patient. How does it feel? I don't know, I've tried my best, I suppose. I don't feel too bad about it. Put some toilets in, because, you know... On this level, patients don't stay long, long enough to... Um, 
take advantage of the facilities. But it's good practice to get into. Oh, right, yeah, the level itself. It's called Toxicity. Um, I think that's like a play on. Handyman wants a raise. Oh, uh, nine. No. Oh, that's, that felt good. There you go. Stay, meet your replacements on the way out. Massively overworked. What do I care? Tell you what, if I was playing this without having to provide the commentary as well, I would have fixed all these problems, like, before they even arose with problems. But I'm not. Um, it saves a bit of time, so I don't have to talk over... I don't have to play the game and then spend the same amount of time talking over the game while also thinking about, have I thought... Uh, I know what's going to happen next, but the person watching doesn't have to know. Whereas this way, we both don't know what's going to happen next. So I don't have to pretend to be surprised when things happen. But maybe... I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm just talking. Deal with it. Oh, bunt. That looks extremely uncomfortable. And the radiator. And there should be a mass exodus now to the staff room. No. I think the only person that was tired was that handyman and that's active. Oh, I like this song. This is, um... This is, this is one of my favourite songs, I think. It's amazing what you can do with MIDI tunes. I, I'm quite, I'm impressed with MIDI tunes. I'm not one of those people who said, oh, it's not the right format, and therefore I don't like it. I think you can do pretty good stuff with MIDI tunes. I like, um, I like songs, I like songs from uh, Theme Hospital, and um, I'm sitting about drinking a cup of coffee now. I'll probably get the image on the screen. But I'm drinking it from this rather nice Mickey Mouse mug from Disneyland. You can't get them anymore. Yeah, I like uh, some of the songs from Final Fantasy series, that's on MIDI, uh, Sonic 16-bit, 8-bit era music, that's good, uh, I'll, uh, no, uh, no word against that. I might hire another doctor. Not too psychiatrist, because that's expensive. In fact, he was surplus to requirements. See, like, you just don't need it. Oh yeah, victory conditions can be found on this button here. This is version 1.0.11, I think, of Core 6th. So they've not actually programmed in any um, opposition yet. It's not a finished business, but it has got past the beta stage. As in, it released version 0.1 or 0.01 or something like that. A few months ago, which time is hilarious unless you totally realise that it gone through about eight different beta versions. I guess it's beta, isn't it? I call it beta. I don't know. Um, I call the Greek letter beta and the um, uh, video game stage of development beta. I don't know, I'm weird like that. So there's me, uh, Peck, We're going against Colossus. These are all, of course, famous computers from history, Colossus being the code breaker from the from World War II, thanks to Alan Turing, and a grateful nation showed its gratitude by killing him for his sexuality. Well, locking him up and then locking him up and then in encouraging him to commit suicide. Well not encouraging him but making him so depressed that he ends up taking up his own life. So that's gratitude for you. Hal is of course from 2001 a space odyssey. Uh Orac. I'm not sure where Orac's from. Possibly, but not certain, an Isomath, Isaac Asimoth. Uh, we're thinking of multi -bat. But yeah, you, uh, you, in the full game, of course, you play against them and you compete for patients, and there's a certain population, and they all go their various ways. But not in this version because they've not practiced it yet. There's also a few bugs, and when I point them out, oh, I'll probably moan about it. $20 for a. Um, for, for a kind of coke which comes in a Kit Kat vending machine. Yeah, if you're going to do sort of placement in uh, video games, you may as well do it blatantly and wrong. <laughs> I wonder if Bullfrog actually got paid by um, my Kit Kat for that. Or maybe they just like Kit Kats, I don't know. So I've almost finished this level despite the fact I've performed it horribly. I've not even put any radiators in. Have I? Modicum of radiators. 
a few benches. Uh, oh, I've got a bloat head there. I'll have to uh, put an insulation in. And there you are, that's all you have to do. Because it's basically an opening level, you can play around with it however you want. I didn't even have to put inflation, I didn't have to put in general diagnosis, probably didn't have to... Psychiatry! Probably do this, you can probably finish this off with just the GP's office, psychiatry and pharmacy. And then, fill up. You probably press, press the uh, 5 button. Put your benches over there, but I'm not going to. In fact, yes, I am going to, because um, that's a sign of a well-run hospital. It's a way of keeping all your patients happy and stopping them throwing up. They can't throw up if they sat down. Do we need a third doctor? Crikey, it's getting expensive. There you go. I suppose I'll, I'll stay as long as to. Um, the bloke's head because that's always quite fun. Doctor is required in the inflator room, that's right. It's spot on, Miss Secretary. Um, oh, this is a function that uh, the Core 6 people have edited in zooming. The trouble is, it just doesn't work particularly well. And then once you've zoomed in, you can't then zoom out to the right collection. But here we go. Head in there. <laughs> just pop it, take off the excess skin, and then and then blow it back up again. School? What school? Eight hundred fifty dollars as well. well. This game is a bit confusing because you work in dollars, and it's a private hospital, and it's private healthcare, and you're making money from it. But you get contacted by the Ministry for Health. Now, as far as I can tell, America doesn't have ministries. So I, I don't know what's going on. I suppose you can't really make a tycoon game when you work with Universal Healthcare because it either takes away the profit motive and without a profit mo motive, what kind of a tycoon game have you got? So look, I've fulfilled all my um, all my things. Reputation has fallen lower than 300. Back balance is not less than 1,000. But currently have treated 94% of visitors. Cured 10 people and hospitals worth 62,000. Bargain, I say. So, at the end of the month, and in the old version, you get like a, it used to stop and it come up, came up with a um, little graphic where you'd open a letter and you get a letter from the ministry and it had this wonderful thing with the sound of typewriters typing out and you go, Dear so and so, you've finished this, this level, would you like to move on to the next one? Unfortunately, in this one, you just get something up popping at the side of the screen that says, Dear Peck, you have vastly, been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To this end, we protect great things for you and would like to offer you a... Get up and talking. would like to offer you a position elsewhere. Sorry, Miss Secretary. Um, Miss Reception, Stephen. The salary we'd like to offer you is $10,868 and we think you'd love your new challenge. Would you like... It would pose. We'd like to position at the Sleepy Hollow Hospital. That's not much money for a hospital administrator, I must say, but... Yeah, why not? I'll move on to the next level. And that, and with that, you will join me in the next video.